Okay, next one we're gonna talk about pressure control AC. With pressure control, again, the difference now is the set PIP and the set I time, and variable is volume and flow, again, depending on the resistance of the airways and compliance of the lungs. So let's say we have a set pressure of 20 and an I time of one second. If you remember our explanation on the different waveforms, when you say set, most likely it's a square waveform. So in this case, this peak inspiratory pressure here, this is your 20. Okay. And in every pressure control breath, the flow is always, always, always a descending waveform or a ramp. And then again, you have a certain volume. Now, from here to here, okay, from this point to this point right here, that's basically one second. Again, based on your eye time. So after that one second is done, it will go into exhalation. So this is a controlled breath. An assisted breath, again, you'll have that negative inflection. And again, this is 20. And the, the, uh, the time frame here, from here to here, is 1.0 seconds. Your flow waveform is descending or a ramp. And then you'll have your given volume. This is an assisted breath because of the negative inflection. So again, pressure control AC is a combination of both a controlled breath and an assisted breath. This is where your peak inspiratory uh, pressure is measured and staying consistently throughout the given time. And then it will exhale into, uh, it will go into exhalation. The flow waveform on pressure control is always descending or a ramp. And then the volume will vary depending on Again, the patient's uh, inspiratory effort as well, or given the resistance and compliance of the patient.